Hello, uh, this is the second lesson on uh, sprites and animation and we're pretty much where we left off after the first one. Uh, if uh, you're unfamiliar with how to get this sprite on the screen, um, you should probably see that introductory lesson first and then come back uh, to this one. Anyway, um, we quickly uh, figured out in the introductory lesson that uh, the biggest issue with the sprites in motion is that once they reach the edge, they basically get stuck. And this needs to be resolved first. So here we're gonna show uh, something that you've seen in very old legacy games where the sprites would kind of disappear on one edge and reappear on the opposite side. And uh, we're gonna show here how to, uh, how to do that. So first, uh, we need to check whether sprites reach the edge and we're gonna use the event handler right here if the edge is reached, right? And then if the edge is reached, we need to figure out which one. And for that, the edges are indexed. The top one is number one, the bottom one is minus one, the right is plus three, and the left one is minus three. So to check that, we need to use if control right we can pick this one and then build from there and let's say we want to check first whether we reach the top one right so we need to check if this edge equals to one at the top so we're going to compare here in math pick this one take our edge that we reached get whatever that is and then compare whether it is one right here and if it is one, what do we want to do? If we reach the top, we want to reappear at the same x, but the y needs to be the full height of the canvas. So we need to reposition uh, the sprite. So we need to call action for sprite to move it to a particular point. And as we said, x needs to be kept constant. So we pick whatever is the sprite's x position so here this is our x and we want to preserve that one and for y we will need to pick the canvas height so we're going to pick canvas here find its height and set it right here so we resolve this first edge what if we are at the bottom if we reached the edge minus one right so we need to first check that whether we are at the bottom edge right here if it's minus one then we want to re reappear on the top right so what do we do we still keep the same x but our y coordinate is now going to be zero at the top so we set zero here we have two more edges left, so we need to check one more time. We need to add one more check, else if. If you remember from the controls, we go here, pick another else if, and we build it, add it basically here. And now we're going to check, let's say, if we reach the right edge. So we check if our edge is now equal to number three. If it is number three, we want to reappear on the left. So to reappear on the left, our x coordinate is going to be zero. So we move here x to be zero. And the right coordinate is going to be, uh, the, the y coordinate is going to be basically the y coordinate of the sprite. We preserve that one now, right? Now, if we're not at the top, bottom, or right, we must be at the left. We need to. We don't need to check that one. And we basically just execute. If we reach the left one, we need to reappear on the right. So, on the right, we need to have the canvas width as the x coordinate. So, right here, width. And we still want to preserve the y coordinate. This resolves our basically uh, disappearance and reappearance with the sprite. Now, for this to not to go in infinite, uh, infinitely many times, 
we're just gonna quickly set a counter right so we need the global counter global variable that we're gonna call counter and we're gonna initialize it at zero so every time the edge is reached we're gonna increment uh, this counter so we're gonna set a counter every time to whatever is its current value plus one right so here get the counter whatever it is and we're gonna increment it by one and then once all this motion is executed we need to check whether we reach the end of how many times you want this to allow to for sprite to reach the uh, edge so we need to check again right we go back to controls and we need to check whether this counter reached a certain value so let's say we want to check whether this counter uh, uh, reached say 10 if we did 10 times um, if we reach the edge 10 times so we need to check whether this variable is 10 right here and then if it's 10 what do we want to do let's say we want to center uh, this sprite so we want first to uh, set its velocity to zero so we're gonna to set image sprite speed to zero right here that's one thing and then maybe we want to set its heading also to zero so to orient it and finally we want to set the x and the y coordinate so to center it right we're gonna set the x coordinate to half of the canvas width right so we need little help of math division it's right here so we need the canvas canvas width right here and we're gonna set the canvas width half right here and we need to do the same for the y coordinate the only difference is it is going to be half of the canvas height right okay and one more thing is uh, once we reach 10 and uh, reposition uh, our sprite we also want to reset the counter back to zero so we can kind of execute this back again if we want so basically just to reset the counter back to zero and this is already except we need to give a initial kick to our sprite so it starts moving so we're gonna say fling our sprite right here uh, we're gonna set sprite uh, direction or heading to whatever is our fling directed to and also we're gonna set the speed so we're gonna set the speed to say something not too fast and not too slow so let's say we set it to 10. okay so this should be ready now and uh we're just gonna check that everything works uh, as intended right so we're gonna give it the fling initial it starts here and then once it hits here it's gonna reappear on the opposite side 
once it hits here it's going to reappear the top and so on so this is exactly what we wanted it to do once it hits number 10 10 times it's going to center itself and that's going to be the end right here okay clearly you can modify this whichever way you want but this is just the basic uh, to show you how the sprite can disappear on one edge and reappear on the other uh, in the next lesson we're going to show some other ways that we can handle uh, when the sprite uh, reaches uh, edges. Until then, bye.